All right. That's phase three. I'm going to try to um, approach this in a calm and professional manner. This game fucking sucks! Okay. Joke aside, the game is bad. Now. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ugh. Uh, look at that damn thing crushing to into play. Alright. I should start off by saying a few things. The good things that is. Uh. Yay. Alright. First things first. Um. The game is. The good parts. I do like the crafting system. And the bosses. The bosses were actually enjoyable. I. I, do, I did like actually playing through those, even if the, like a few of them had waves of enemies. But actually, yeah, it's fine on me because I did. Yeah, 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 keep talking. It's actually pretty good. I think I'm headphones. <sighs> Is there anything else good about that? Uh, I can't think of anything else. All right, let's get on to the bad shell, right? Let's start off with something I'm a little weak at analyzing: story. The story is at least engaging, but it's also cliche as hell. And I also really don't like what they did with, with Ellie. First, in the first game, well not first game, second game that is, Ellie was actually awesome. She well, she did shit. Here, she's like just a fucking damsel in distress. She would hold off waves of necromorphs from a guy who's basically protecting a guy who's basically defenseless to someone who basically needs saving and not getting a weapon. And do not doing this shit shit. She's supposed to be a pilot. Why is it that the freaking engineer was piloting the ship towards the planet when it should have been the damn, in, the, the damn pilot in the first place? Because we need to actually put in some uh, something like... No, you don't. It just raises too many questions. Uh, uh, what else is there? So it being cliche. That's the only thing I can really think of. And the romance. The whole romance plot. It's just... We knew those two were going to get back together. It was just a matter of time. And something was going to happen to Norton. We already knew that. And him being the traitor... Eh. Uh, quite honestly, after... The remaining people who got onto the planet. The cool guy died, I can't remember his name because he died so early. Santos was a little too up um well a little too happy a chipper and right when she it was fairly predictable when she died. Because of the fact that she was super panicking. Uh so logically the only only one who could have been a traitor was Norn. Unless Ellie was the traitor, and then just that was that would be that would be a what the fuck moment, and that's the best way I can say it. All right, but the reason I usually start off analyzing the story is because of the fact that I don't play games for the story. It's nice that they're in, and I like them, but that's not the point for me. That is for a video game playing. It's playing the game. Being, playing game, the gameplay, which is what I really did not like about this. Yes, the crafting system was good, and and the boss fights were good. The enemies, however, were a bitch. To I can't get into the enemies while addressing this. This thing was forced co-op multiplayer. The whole entire game. I know I've said it several times, but the entire game made it so where it seemed to be forced to the point where you had to have someone watching your back. Now they could did it just properly. Vorlands actually did just fine. You could went into the game solo, and if someone came in and out, the enemies would either grow stronger or weaker depending on how many people are in the game. And that's good. But they did so where it just seems that you just needed someone there. Now, if they wanted to make the enemies stronger, that's fine. If you want but you need to make the ear, but they also made them more numerous, so you either need to make them stronger or more numerous. 
That's because of the fact that sometimes someone's not going to want to go in and play with someone. Sometimes they just want to go in and have a solo run. So, you're alienating people who just want to do solo runs. Now, I do like the crafting weapon system. However, it seems to be intimated to the point that reason why we have universal am ammunition for, the, for it is because of the fact that of the crafting system rather than have like 7,000 kinds of different ammos because of the way you could configure it you still instead just have a one neat pile the problem with this is the fact that due to the numerous amount of enemies you run out of ammo fairly quickly yes I saw when looking back from my recordings and everything I saw that it would drop ammo fairly often even when I was in hard setting but the fact that you constantly run out of ammo and then gain more out and gain more, it just seems odd. Yes, I would run out of ammunition on the first two games somewhat. It wasn't all the damn time. And not to mention going back on the enemies. It what that's what kind of removed the the, the hard part of of this game. Due to the fact that you constantly have a wave of enemies at your ass in almost every room. In the first two, you would go have sometimes have stretches where nothing happens. And that helps build the tension to it where you're actually scared. Here, your constant is enemies constantly in your face and you're not no there's no tension build up. There's no field build up. You're not scared. And I do get honestly why there would be less fear. Isaac has fought through this two times by now. He knows what he's dealing with, so he wouldn't be so much afraid. He would just nut up and just shh, and just get to work. However, that does not excuse the fact that the player should be scared. Uh, like I said, it that state that if you're going to make it a little tougher with the enemy's ear, make them more numerous or more tougher, not stronger, not both. And also getting the part where I hate mostly what games do when they do this freaking what they call microtransactions. I hate that. I hate that so much because it just basically says, hey, pay money to win. And you know, that like, this is EA, so I'm not surprised. But they constantly do this, so it pisses me off. Now, if it was like, it's just, now if we were like dealing with MMOs and doing with subscriptions, okay, I'm not going to complain about that, because that's how live MMOs work. Especially, uh, what's two they did um, other than Short War? Uh, what's that other one? Um, Secret World. Those have free to play and subscription, and the subscribers get like more benefits, and th that's fine. I understand that because most MMOs work on subscriptions. World of Warcraft works on subscriptions. They don't. I don't think they work on free to play. I've never actually played. Uh, wow, really? All that. Uh, but I do understand why MMOs have subscriptions. That's how it works. Plus, also the guy maintains servers. And those subscription, those su subscribers actually help. But doing it when, when it's like pay to win, like freaking, freaking um, mobile games do that. I have two mobile games on my phone, uh, and they do that crap. But they do it in a way that it, that you don't have to pay to actually enjoy. It enjoy it much like MMOs uh, the ones that they uh, EA's got as far as I know I'm not sure if Secret World does I haven't, I haven't really played it I play I played Sword War yeah, it's fun <sighs> but this game is just the worst thing ever well not the worst game I've ever played but definitely ranks up there in the high ones the worst game I've ever played was the Kenny X-Men for the NES. That is a shitty game, and I do not recommend playing it.
No, wait, scratch that. I do recommend playing it just so you can see how shitty it is. I don't even care if you freaking get a ROM and emulate that shit. <sighs> but I am done with Death Space. I might even, even if they went for it, they're going to have to like, there's going to have to be some good ass reviews in order for me to actually pick that up. I'm not even doing, I'm not doing Death Space 3 Awakening, I've already said that. Because fuck this game. Uh, I'm just going to make up my own freaking ending after Dead Space 2. And then, and then Isaac got the garret, had like a thousand children. Earth Govern, uh, you know, told you, fought each other and destroyed each other, and then you government more better, better, or, or for Earth comes out. They go out, they go around the galaxy. All the necromorphs die in a fire, they find aliens, everything's happy, peaceful. The end. Okay, maybe it's not the greatest of all story writing, but shit, I don't freaking care. <sighs> I'm just erased. I'm just scrubbing this game from my memory. That's how it ended after Dead Space 2. That's how it ended for me after Dead Space 2. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I'll get to that in a second. Ugh. Not much I'm having kind of a crappy day. Well, I'm not having a that crappy day, just an annoying one. Well, it's not the day, it's just this one instance. I'm seeing someone try to, well, a bot that is, was trying to scam me. I can see it clear as day. I can see it right from the first message the dang bot saw me like, that is a, that is a uh, phishing scam bot. No point in that three, might as well report it. Not a bad thing, but still, an annoying one. Huh. Is it over? I'm gonna get my headphones back on. Helly! What? Helly! Okay, apparently Isaac's at least still alive. I'll look- I'll go look it up. Cause I know Awakening happened after Dead Space. Uh, three. Thank you for all that crap. Like, I give a crap. I, I'm done. I'll go... I'm gonna go play something better. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go back on the Steam and find something better to play. So next time, I'm, I'm, let's play blindly stuff. Something better. Until then, later, dudes.